Three years ago, my dream was to build a ferret sanctuary, but I could never have guessed how hard it would be. These adorable boys have had the toughest life imaginable and they're only two years old. Giving them a safe and loving forever home might be the thing that breaks me. It's the ferret's birthday, so we're taking them to Hockley Ferret Rescue to pick out some new friends to come and live with us at the forever home for found ferrets. Kate from Ferret Chief. Oh, hello, love you, right? Looking. Hockley has over 200 ferrets looking for homes, and while we were there, another five Jills were brought in. But they're done because they're in season. Welling season as well. Yeah, they are, so they've been in season oh, and they're in yeah, yeah. Dumped outside the vets in need of urgent and expensive treatment after being left in season too long. You can see at the bottom there, she's oh, completely yes. swollen folder. Very tight on plastic anemia. With so many new smells and ferrets everywhere, the girls were getting a bit overwhelmed, so it was time to try a potential pairing. Do you get a sense of which ones you think yes. will Yes, I've got two beautiful, beautiful, beautiful boys. These two strays bonded at the rescue and are the bottom of the pecking order in a group of 90 ferrets. Will they be a match for our girls? Initial sniff tests seem positive. They're showing interest in each other and not shying away or lunging. So it's time to move them into an enclosed space where we can let them loose on the floor together. My girls are incredibly shy and overwhelmed by the environment, so it's hard to get a proper read on them. But despite how nervous Riggles is, this introduction feels good to me. The boys aren't being aggressive, they're just curious and backed politely off Riggles when she gave them a warning squeak. And it's clear from the scabs on their necks that as safe as they are here, they're not having the best time of it. So it's time to say our goodbyes and spirit these sweet young boys away from Hockley Ferret Rescue. It didn't take the boys long to settle into their new home and get used to their new names. Meet Luffy and Zorro, named after the One Piece anime pirate duo, mainly on account of Zorro missing an eye. The rescue center said they'd picked him up after surviving a badger attack, which is how he lost the eye. They're two years old and very tame, so I can't wait to see how they get on with the girls. What's this? The first step of integration was a bedding swap, getting them used to each other's smells by switching blankets. I'm kinda happy. A few days later, I used my limited carpentry skills to make a neutral space for the first introductions. Integrating ferrets. I have discovered it's not my favourite thing to do. Ferret groups have a social hierarchy that's decided through displays of dominance and submission. All right. It looks and sounds pretty violent as they try to pin each other by the neck. And in some cases, it actually gets violent, even drawing blood from bites. Which is so hard to watch when it's your little babies being ragdolled all the time. I thought moving the boys to a cage in the shed might help them get used to each other. It also allowed me to give each pair of ferrets some time in the outside run and start bringing them out on the shed floor all together to play. Zorro, being the giant teddy bear that he is, was progressing nicely with the girls. But sadly, Luffy, who was most likely born in the wild, was having none of it. I suppose coming from living in a large, aggressive group at Hockley, he saw the girls as competition for limited resources, like food and bedding. Be nice. While it is important nice. to let integration power struggles play out, there's a point at which you must break it up too. What's going on with you? Why can't you be nice? Can we just stop the violence? As much as I tried over the next few weeks, it was heartbreaking to see. Luffy, no. Also, I have to confess, my mother was going through the final stages of her battle with cancer at the time, and emotionally, I just couldn't keep going. So I decided to pause on the introductions for a few months and let the ferrets get properly used to each other by housing them side by side in the main cage. I'm going to build a divider to make this inside enclosure into two separate cages with plenty of opportunity to mingle on several different levels. Once the dividers were in place, I added shelving, lots of enrichment, and then ferrets. 
One week later, you can see they're already getting much more relaxed around each other and even sharing some kisses through the wire. Although that could also have been Luffy licking Scruffle's breakfast off her chin. For now, I'm just happy to see peace return to our home. Luffy and Zoro have a great space where they're constantly face to face with Wriggles and Scruffles. And I still give them access to the outside run for half the day. The integration will continue once life has settled a little more for all of us, so make sure you subscribe to follow that journey. And if you have any suggestions for successful mingling, I would really value seeing them in comments.